Welcome to Boss Automotive. 2018 Volvo S60 T5 Inscription Basics, a maturing vehicle profits by additional back legroom. On the off chance that you like space to extend, and catches, this Sino Swedish vehicle is certain to satisfy. What is it? The S60 T5 Inscription is an extravagant minimal vehicle with more back legroom than the opposition because of a more drawn out wheelbase. It's as yet sitting tight for the new Volvo and side updates like its greater S9 V sibling and hybrid cousins. This upper center trim gets 18-inch wheels, a reached-out rearward sitting arrangement and backstop help. Key competitors, Audi A4, Infiniti Q50, Mercedes C-Class. Base price, $39,945 as tested price, $47,715. Full review, Volvo S60 T5 Inscription First Drive. Features, the Chinese constructed S60 T5 Inscription hit US merchants in July 2015, and it goes into 2018 essentially unaltered. The T5 means the motor, a 240 horsepower turbocharged 4 chamber, the T6 makes 302 horsepower and the highest point of the line Polestar makes 362 horsepower with the same turbocharged 2.0 liter 4. Our opinion, in Volvo's S60 lineup the inscription, first appeared at the Detroit Appear in January 2015, means an all-around outfitted vehicle with an additional 3 inches more legroom toward the rear. The Chinese market adores itself some back legroom, and this is the reason you see such huge numbers of long wheelbase C classes, 5 series, and A6S circling over yonder. The inscription makes for a pleasant, ample, U.S. advertised vehicle, as well. The first occasion when we attempted an inscription was on a twisty highway 1 north of San Francisco, where it was as funnish to drive as the customary wheelbase S60. It was very much controlled, had great grasp, an agreeable right and insignificant body roll. The phenomenal front container situates, a Volvo staple, held us set up well. As we revealed at the time, the rearward sitting arrangement was precisely 3 inches more pleasant than previously. That drive occurred 2 years prior. Shouldn't something be said about now, in Detroit? We're utilizing it for tooling around town, forward and backward to work, making air terminal runs etc. It's demonstrating similarly as comfortable and smooth as it had on Highway 1. The 2.0 liter 4 is 240 horsepower feels like bounty pulling around a close to 4,000 pound vehicle, and all-wheel drive is most welcome around here. On the off chance that you need more oomph, you can select the $47,500 R Design's 302 horsepower 4 or run entire horde with the Polestar and its 362 horsepower. With both you're surrendering the additional legroom, however. Besides, the Polestar's base sticker is $60,000. I'd stay with the 240 horsepower 4. It's bounty for most circumstances, and to me, the more drawn a wheelbase feels like smooth cruising, enhancing the auto's ride over Detroit's famously unpleasant asphalt contrasted with different S60 S I've driven. The inside is a charming spot to invest energy, with pleasant looking walnut trims and superb materials. The dash design is uplifting news, terrible news, contingent upon your desires. The catches for things like warmth, vent and the stereo are modest and there are 32 of them. Indeed, I checked. The uplifting news, for me in any event, is that S60 S don't, yet, have the ginormous and way excessively confounded touchscreen found in any semblance of the XC90. The iPad measure interface has numerous screens that you cut and squeeze to control nearly everything. It reacts gradually and conflictingly and is honestly enraging as anyone can imagine. I very much want the S60's format, however this model age is as of now 8 years of age, so I fear its stays are numbered. Since I'm talking Volvo, there's well-being gear galore, including discretionary blindside discovery BLIS, cross-activity alarm and person on foot, cyclist location. By and large, the inscription drives intensely, and who knows? The additional backseat room may influence some passage extravagance purchasers who are vacillating. On sale, now. Base price, $39,945. As tested price, $47,715. Powertrain, 2.0 liter dock turbocharged I4, AWD 8 speed programmed. 
yield, 240 horsepower at 5,500 revolutions per minute, 258 pounds to foot at 1,500 to 4,800 revolutions per minute. Control weight, 3,823 pounds. Efficiency, 22 slash 33 26 of a mile per gallon. EPA city slash highway slash combined. Experts, same sharp on street behavior as the short to wheelbase adaptation. Cons, button overwhelming inside feels an age behind, to a few.